Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about pathophysiology of diabetic ketoacidosis. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. Diabetic ketoacidosis is a serious life-threatening complication of diabetes. Diabetic ketoacidosis is most common among people with type 1 diabetes. People with type 2 diabetes can also develop DKA. The main reason why diabetic ketoacidosis develops is when the body doesn't have enough insulin to allow blood sugar into cells for use as energy. Diabetic ketoacidosis in short is called as DKA is characterized by hyperglycemia, ketonemia and acidemia. And this results from disorders in the metabolism of carbohydrate, protein, and fat. The pathophysiology of diabetic ketoacidosis. Before that, first you should know about the function of insulin so that you will have a clear idea about the pathophysiology. Pancreas makes insulin and releases it into the bloodstream. Insulin helps to move glucose into the cells. Now, cells use this glucose for energy and the body stores any extra glucose in the liver, muscles and fat cells. The major function of insulin includes increased glucose uptake by liver, skeletal muscles and adipose tissue. So, in the liver, this glucose uptake enhances glycogenesis that is formation of glycogen and in the muscle it enhances protein synthesis and in adipose tissue it enhances adipogenesis that is formation of adipocyte that is fat cells. Remember that this is the normal function of insulin. But what happens in diabetic ketoacidosis is there is lack of insulin which enhances glyconeogenesis that is formation of glycogen from non-carbohydrate sources which in terms leads to hyperglycemia. In muscles, it enhances glyconeogenesis and in adipose tissue, it enhances lipolysis which is nothing but breakdown of fat cells and also leads to formation of ketone bodies. So, looking into the pathophysiology of diabetic ketoacidosis, without insulin, the amount of glucose entering the cells is reduced and the liver increases glucose production. This leads to hyperglycemia. So, in an attempt to get rid of the body's excess glucose, the kidneys excrete the glucose along with water and electrolytes, for example, sodium and potassium. This osmotic diuresis is characterized by excessive urination, that is polyuria, which leads to dehydration and marked electrolyte loss. The other effects of insulin deficiency is breakdown of fat into free fatty acids and glycerol, which leads to free fatty acids getting converted to ketone bodies by the liver and leading to accumulation of ketone bodies in the circulation which finally leads to metabolic acidosis. Now, so here you go with the pathophysiology of diabetic ketoacidosis. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.